Hey everybody, I'm Lex from PDQ.com. I'm going to take you through your first installation of PDQ Deploy and your first deployment. So, uh, when you sign up for a trial, you're going to get a couple emails. One's going to have a link to get the executable, which I've downloaded right here, and you're also going to get your license key, which I put in a text file right there. Let's do the installation. So, I double click on the executable, and of course, I'm going to uh, do this very difficult installation, so pay attention. Just kidding, guys. You're going to take the defaults. It's super easy. I'm going to hit next. Here's the uh, end user license and user agreement. Basically, somewhere in there, it says you promise to be my maid for life. Yeah, just kidding. Next on that, I'm just going to take the defaults for the installations and hit install, and it's going to install. It's going to be pretty quick. Now, after it's done doing the install, it's going to fire up, and it's going to ask us for credentials and a few other things. I'm going to take you through those and explain what they are. So here we go. It's going to start up. Our installation worked. Thumbs up. First of all, welcome to PDQ Deploy. I'm going to hit next. We're going to do this in license mode. So you've got your trial license. You hit license, and then I can browse for the license file. Mine is on the desktop, so I'm just going to go to the desktop. There's my enterprise trial license. I open that. There it is. Give it an OK. And now I'm in enterprise, enterprise mode. I'll hit next. And this is going to ask you whether you want to install in local client or server mode. My suggestion for your trial, run it in local mode. Server mode is for if you've got multiple users uh, that want to look at the same uh, pane of glass, same working environment. So let's just go with local. Give it a next. Now it's going to ask you for cred credentials. Now these credentials need to be either at the very least a local admin on all the machines you're going to deploy to, or better yet, a domain admin. That's what this is, it's domain admin. So I'm going to put the password in. And of course, my password is password1. Just kidding, guys. And I hit finish. Now, what that's going to do, it's going to build a service and start the service up. The nice thing about that service running is you can shut down your console, go home for the night, and it will take care of the schedules and things in the background. Do that for you. So here we go. Deploys fired up. There it is, guys. So the first thing I'm going to do is a deployment. Let's just get off to the races. The package library, if you click on it, has around oh, about 200 pre-built packages that we at PDQ will maintain for you. So let's just go out. Let's do, uh, we're going to do Chrome. Very popular. We're going to go download Chrome. I type in Chrome. There it is, Chrome Enterprise. Select it. I hit download, select it. And it's going to download Chrome into my packages directory here. Now you'll notice right here there's a box with an arrow on it. That basically lets you know that this is an auto download package and if you leave your, de your defaults um, basically what's going to happen is auto download it's going to wait seven days when a new package comes out, new Chrome, it's going to wait seven days and then replace the one on your machine. We'll get into that later but there it is, it's downloaded. Let's deploy Chrome. I select it, I hit deploy once and then I'm going to choose targets. I'm going to choose targets out of Active Directory. There is my web Active Directory. We'll send it to Allen Rails. We'll send it to Beth and we'll hit OK. Going to verify these are good machines. Basically, at this point, all I have to do is hit Deploy Now and it's off to the races. You'll see it's deploying Chrome again to the machine Allen Rails and the machine Beth, not to people. It sends it to machines. So it's now going to connect to those machines. Copy the install files over there, do the deployment, and then clean itself up. And that basically is how easy it is to use PDQ Deploy. If you need more information, good place to check is uh, go to pdq.com, click on videos. I, we've got hundreds of videos out there, how-to videos. Uh, all you need to do is search online for like Office. Our Office videos will come up for you those kind of things. And then we do do a live webcast every Thursday at 10 Mountain Time. Appreciate you guys watching. There it is. We're already on step two doing our installs. This will be done in about, oh, probably another 10 seconds. And uh, we're good to go. Thanks for watching. I'm Lex from PDQ.com.